Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, just like it says on the hat. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a quick video just to show you how to hook up a write log for RIDI contesting. I'm going to give you a couple options, and the first thing I want to clarify is why I use write log instead of one of the other programs that are out there. Very simple. It's what I'm used to, it's what I've been using for a long time, and it's what I find most comfortable. Your mileage may vary. Let's go to the screen and see what we can do. Now the first thing we're going to do is open up write log. I've got that right there. And the, now we want to go into new log. Because we're going to be setting this up from scratch. And the contest I'm going to pick is the ARRL Ready Roundup right there. So we click on OK and we can expand that a little bit and I want to make that floating so we're going to put it right there. Now we need to get our uh, write log program updated and I'm going to speed up through this but basically I'm going to be loading a country update, a data files update, and the uh, super check partial files. Now we need to make sure that our uh, rig can talk, talk to our software and vice versa. So we go to setup, write log options, and ports. Where I'm going to use COM3, select that as a Kenwood TS890, and I will shot a bit. There we go. COM3, the data rate is 115.2, and apply, OK. You can now see that my rig is showing here, and I'll go ahead and tweak that a little bit back and forth so you can see that I am changing the frequency there. Now we want to uh, bring up our RIDI and the first one I'm going to bring up is two-tone. So come up here to Windows, open the RIDI window. You can also come here on the icon there and get it. Now what we want to do, this is set up for uh, two-tone, so what you want to do is come in here to two-tone, or to TU type, select the XMMT OCX, then come up here, and you make sure it's set for two-tone. Now I'm going to sh shrink this down a bit, and you'll see why here in a second. And let me see if I can find an active channel. There we go. So there's an active channel, and we'll just let that run. Now I want to come here to File, type clone. And this is my uh, MMTTY clone. And I'm just tweaking these here. And I'll bring this down here. So you can see I've got two different decoders working. But wait, there's more! This time I'm going to clone and this is this is my uh, ready write which is built in to uh, write log.
Now, there's a, a lot of things. I'll take a look, uh, chance here and just tell you uh, most of the problems that I've had bringing this up this morning, and I, I did go through this first, so I wasn't at a complete loss, uh, were due to settings on my rig. So you're going to need to make sure that the settings on your rig are good. So now I want to come up here. We're going to open up a rate chart and we'll make that floating so I can pull it over here so I can kind of see where I'm at. Uh, I also want a uh, band summary. So again, we will make that float, bring that right here and expand it out a bit. So now I can keep track of how I'm doing on, on the totals and the, the score and all of that. So now I'm going to bring up my super check partial. That is right, where is it there? Super check partial. And again, take it out of floating and I'm going to bring it over here. And if I see somebody that I'm working, or if I only have a partial down here, uh, I can start typing. And I'm going to I'm going to type my own call sign in here. So I'm going to go N D three. Okay, now there we go. There there I am, and uh, N D three D N D three L. But I'm there. Uh, I'm going to go here and go to properties. I want to see the data file I'm using. I am using my master data file. Uh, since this is an international context, I want everything. And if you look here, here I have UA4C. Here I have something else. Here I have something else. So I'm going to click on that and see what I do have a UA4C. And I click that. And then all I have to do is put his... Uh, a ser serial number in here. Remember DX stations give us a serial number. Uh, and this is a general on how to set up that. Uh, one other thing uh, you need to make sure uh, under bands you need to make, make sure that LSB is really FSK so that's good and you can see now that I've got that checked and that's it. Uh, Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner. I certainly do appreciate it. Please like me. Please. Sharing is fun. Questions? Comments? I subscribe to Team Beat. Uh, thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner. I certainly do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you feel like using Write Log, that's great. They do have a, a free version that you can download. And uh, it only covers four tests. And the ARRL Ready Roundup is one of those tests. Uh, you can also download it for Field Day and a few other things. Uh, it's a pretty powerful little program. I think it's more intuitive than some of the other ones that are out there. Uh, the other big one is N1MM. I have that. I've used that. And I keep going back to WriteLog. It's just something I prefer. Uh, for the full version, forever, and all the support, it is uh, $30 a year, and as much as I contest, it's well worth it. It has, well, I've never found a contest that it doesn't have, and, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So, 7-3 for now. I'm Tom, ND3NO. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and if you feel like it, subscribe.